all right guys so we are going to be attempting to finish out the week with some review for these uh, standard alterations so here so we got beginning 30 kingdom over here as well as uh Sian over here as well so uh in terms of doing the standard alteration review i'm going to completely rate them at a more lenient just a lot more lenient than what i would have done for the standard so uh standards uh, no, excuse me, for the Super Socas and even the just regular Socas and whatnot. Uh, because these are going to be completely easy to obtain. So uh, I'm just going to rate them by how they look like uh, in terms of like after alteration and all that good stuff, right? So let's actually start out with uh, beginning 30 of them over here. So we do have seven parts to kind of go over. So I'm going to try to make my way through them as fast as I can. So obviously there are going to be some parts that you, that you must alterate, for, for example. And there's definitely going to be some parts that's... I will say uh, alterate at a caution, you know, uh, there's going to be definitely better, you know, uh, or let's say equivalent to these words over here. So let's going to start out with the head over here. So uh, one thing I am going to dislike already in terms of the head is going to be that, you know, beam Vulcan over here. Uh, in terms of the head, I feel like this one, you do have um, other competition as well. I believe you can look at V2 Gundam and then you can do you can look at dual assault route head as well. Those are two standard alteration as well and they have part trade for the head and that'll make them a lot more better. Uh, just be a, being able to subslide itself. So, uh, this one I want to classify this one as more for like a shooter build. Uh, in, ter in terms of the head part, right? Just looking strictly at the head part over here. This one having Gundam type and then for computer definitely not the best of word tag. You know, if we want to compare standard alteration like uh, the V2 Gundam and then the Dual Assault Shroud, I think those are definitely a lot more dominant in terms of what it's trying to do. Uh, this one having a beam and Vulcan is not the best thing in the world. You know, just having the Vulcan type um, EX skill, it just kind of, just kind of, um, I'll rate them slightly a little bit bad. It's not bad, you know, just a little bit uh, lower score, right? Let's say maybe seven out of 10, for example. Uh, but the stat on this one is definitely going to be a lot more higher, around 500 ish higher than the Dual Assault Strout or even the V2 Gundam. But you're, I, I would say, if you want to do like a decently build, you would not want to subslot this up again. Uh, even though that people might subslot uh, the beginning during the Gundam, but you would not want to do that because ideally you would want some portrait instead, right? Um, I think some standard option you can be looking at is going to be the big scale R872. I think that one is a pretty solid option as well or you, you can even look at maybe the big scale wing gundam as well but i believe that one is tied down to p attribute for one of the one of the trade i believe so that may not be the best case scenario right that's why i say uh the v2 and then the dual source is a lot more better but you purely want this for uh maybe the stat purposes i guess that that is completely fine but just make sure you that when you do some subslot that has a portrait possible so um this one i'll leave that up to you guys whether or not you want to alterate it but me personally i don't really recommend altering this uh, head over here uh just because of, of the status uh now that's a bunch of 55 that does not mean this is anything like oh i have to alterate right so uh this one i'll say not uh, that is not something that you would need immediately, for example. Uh, but the torso, for example, that is a different story. I feel like the torso is definitely something of anyone who is working on a uh, EX key reduction build. This is probably something you must have. Uh, let's uh, start things out with the portrait over here. So when armor is 60% or more, um, EX key crew down reduction by 20%. So if you guys have been watching my EX skill showcase video, you guys, I think a lot of people do have the same question. How is he able to activate his or how, how does e, his EX skill recover that fast? Um, uh, these are the parts that I use mainly for my reduction build. So if you have a combination of five of these over here, you should be able to, you know, continuously use your EX skill. So there's plenty of standard parts that actually have these over here. Um, I use standard part uh, in, in regard to doing uh, building up my CD uh, reduction build uh, because standard part is just a lot more easy to do to get up to level 10. Uh, I know that so guys do have their version of it, but getting them to level 10 is going to be a 10 times harder to get these up to the level 10. So, so that's why I uh, always use standard part when you guys are doing a CD build, for example. Uh, this one is actually good as well because you, you are going to be getting some EX skill power power as well. So that is when you are using tech attribute. So I believe. P attribute is is the main tag or the main attribute that has those uh, reduction uh, trait. But you know, I think they're trying to bridge out to uh, tech attribute as well. So this is going to be a good starting piece right here as well. So if you guys do 
are planning to work on a uh, tag attribute, you know, uh, CD reduction build. This is definitely a key component to have right here as well. So, uh, parameter on this is not going to matter as much because this portrait is being so powerful. Uh, but the tag wise may be something you guys want to look into as well. Uh, maybe if, you, if your main part has some better uh, word tags that you don't need this one right, right over here, that is going to be better. But if you want the, uh, let's say, Gundam type, I think that's good. Uh, for computer, just a extremely niche tag that so I don't think is that uh, worth of a mentioning, I guess. Uh, not saying that uh, for computer is not too prominent. We have seen so many uh, from those builder, um, build fighter series or even like those uh, rewrite series. Um, they tend to have a lot of these for computers. Just anything with, you can see electronically built into them, like all those build fighter, they would definitely have it. So that's why I say this tag is good for what it is, like, because I do I do think that a lot of those of Super Soulcast and even not Super Soulcast, uh, Soulcast do have this tag over here, but it's still not the main tag you want to be running, for example. So uh, this one, regardless, this is going to be completely A-OK -okay to archery just because of these two portraits over here. Uh, moving on to the arm now. So the arm is going to be a arm plus an integrated shield. So what my thoughts on these is that uh, they should never be in the main part. A uh, reason being because you are going to be ultimately going to be losing two portrait slot because uh, arm plus the integrated shield, uh, whatever is on that shield slot, you're just unable to modify it for whatever, uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I just kind of wish they would have have to like, allow us to kind of subslot something for that trade slot regardless of having stats or not. Just having that portrait will be important. So I feel like this one will only be good in that sub slot so uh in terms of the portrait it's not half bad for what this one is worth so first portrait is definitely going to be good when you are using an elf fighter pilot um, you're going to get a melee increase by 30 percent uh second portrait is um, it's good you know um you know after 10 seconds um reduce cooldown by 50 percent so let's say you're someone who does not have the best of you know initial cooldown boosting uh this one will definitely boost whatever um, your EX skill has left before being able to use it. But I say this, these kind of trade, um, they're only viable for that first time usage. And then after that, they are just a dead trade. So if you're taking out some, let's say, longer type of event, um, let's say maybe crew multi missions, like the limited time ones, uh, I feel like this one will have a hard time just to try to keep up with that because after the first time usage, um, it's just, or let's say after the first 10 seconds, right? Um, the, the portrait is just completely useless and all that so i say this one for me personally this is just something i will kind of skip up for now just because this is not something of a high demand for example so that is that uh moving on to the leg over here um the leg is not too shabby in terms of the stat i feel like it can be better but if we just purely looking at a standard part i feel like a lot of people can definitely take advantage of it over here uh, War tag is not going to be the best again Gundam type and for computer so that is something you definitely have to be working on if you either going to put this one on a sub slot or going to be in the main slot for example uh, War tag is definitely something you must fix right i think big scale is definitely something you guys everyone can be looking at um they will definitely be something that can give still bring out a good parameter afterward or you know even um, after sub sliding or whatnot but in terms of this one over here um the awakening uh man so these awakening are not that good uh just because you're only raising by 29 percent of shot defense and then 49 percent being resistant uh these portrait over here are kind of useless because like you cannot tank a custom ex skill <laughs> i don't yeah 29 percent is just too low um let's say this one is these kind of awakening skills will be good if you are combining with portrait that says you know enemy reduction like um ex skill with power reductions right those are going to be make, those will make this uh ex skill a lot more this awakening skill a lot more better and then coincide with that you do have let's say um uh reduce enemy melee or shooting power by such and such percentage those will be good but if you do have those portrait already this ex skill over here is going to be uh completely uh irrelevant because those uh, portrait will completely it, it's going to do basically what this one is going to be doing because this portrait over here or this ex skill effects is basically uh, having your unit being able to tank a little bit better just uh just be able to have a better defense defensive purposes but uh, i feel like if you have those uh enemy reduction power reduction trait uh this one is just completely useless but if you want this for like a 
uh, stat sticking or just for the, whatever stat this one offered, by all means you can use it. But me personally, I would say the lick is definitely not something I will alterate myself. Alright, moving on to the backpack over here. So this one is going to be a custom EX skill. Uh, as for these custom EX skill, I will leave this to your discretion. Uh, just for your own picking because we do have so many S type, uh, S power type uh, EX skill already. So it's not, it's just really hard to say, oh, which one is more powerful because they are going to be doing different types of damage at the end. I, I would say their damage is just relatively close to each other. So it's just really hard to say, oh, this one is better than this one, right? Um, I think at the end of the day, you can also take a look into some effects as well because there are, there are some custom EX skill that does not cover any effects. So I would say those are just the one you want to be, you don't want to alter it immediately uh, just because they're not going to be offering too much onto the table, right? Uh, this one is going to raise your shot attack by 39%, so that is going to be good. Uh, also going to raise your beam uh, resistance by 69% to your overall squad, so that is good. But you know, like I said again, this is I'm going to leave this purely to you guys. Uh, maybe uh, maybe some people will want to alterate it just because of the pierce that this one has, so that's totally fine. Uh, War tag on this, on this part specifically is going to be good. Uh, high fire power and then get them tight. High fire power will definitely bridge onto melee bit as well. So that is what you want to be working on. So that is good that this part specifically has a uh, high fire power. So like I said, I'll trade it uh, depending on how what is your liking on it. I will say probably in my opinion, I will not I'll trade it just because the EX skill effects. It could be better, you know, if if there was some, you know, health recovery, I'll definitely I'll trade it. But, you know, that is going to be a really subjective thing right there. In terms of the beam saber, uh, just pure look at, it, look at it, it's gonna be good. That 10,000, uh, mid 10,000 is definitely good right there. Uh, also some shot defense, not bad. Uh, good war tech as well, definitely good. But uh, my problem with this one over here is gonna be the first portrait, 26% uh, chance of, 26% um, chance of uh, attack penetrating super armor is a really unwanted trait, uh, but unfortunately it does have on this one. But the second portrait does kind of make it up. But if you guys have better option already, you know, let's say a Soul Kai tier uh, beam saber that does similar things with a better first portrait, uh, definitely use that over this one because like this one, the first portrait does kind of ruins it for me personally already. So just alternating it, I don't really feel the needs of that. So I, I would say this one, I'll leave it to the side for now. Definitely not something I will alter immediately, for example. Uh, moving on to the beam rifle over here. I think the beam rifle has the same problem with so uh, same war tag again again in terms of the beam rifle uh but the tray first portrait is extremely extremely good it's a non-conditioned uh initial ex charge boost by 20 percent but that second portrait is oh my gosh they're giving us another crit over here so uh you guys know me when i rate uh portrait that has crit i say they're not good because they're just not good uh, currently in the game, there's just they don't really serve too much of a purpose. So having that as the second portrait means that this part can still be good uh, using without any, any let's say alteration. So that is that right. So overall, I think what I will alter from the set like immediately is probably going to be the chest. Um, on this part, I will say it really depends on what you guys need in your box. I will say, uh, if you guys need any of these other parts for you know purely for the stat line i would say go for it if you guys don't have any better option right so that is always going to be the case uh i don't see too much of an immediate need to archery so that's why i would say all the other one except the chest is something you can kind of hold up until maybe you really need it so all right so now we will be moving on to the xeon as well okay so now we're going to be talking about the xeon over here so overall the xeon does have some incredibly um high shot attack um just looking at a standard perspective over here um the head part is definitely going to be freaking at 10k barrier uh but my problem with this one over here is going to be you know that lack of portrait over here so what you guys do need to have to do right uh maybe some slots in some big skill one to one skill i think those are definitely save the head part over here uh what, with whatever uh, base that this one is offering over here uh, but the portrait or the word tag on this one is going to be a little bit not going to be boosting, um, you know, shot too much because you do have Xeon and then for space over here. I say for space, maybe a good way to just having, you know, a good tag, uh, just be able to bridge onto some other subset option. So I think that is a good part. Uh, but Xeon is definitely not going to be boosting any shot attack over here. It's only going to be boosting 10% shot defense and 10% or 5% melee attack. So that is not going to be like the best, you know, war tag for a shooter build. 
So that's why there's going to be a lot of work around with this one over here. Uh, but in terms of this EX skill over here, this one is actually extremely powerful. Uh, because if you guys take a look, uh, the first time you use this is only 4 seconds. So, uh, meaning, uh, let's say you hop into a match and then I will say wait 1-2 seconds and then you can immediately activate this EX skill over here. So this one, you won't even need any of those like initial EX skill charge boost by uh, wh uh, whatever percentage you're looking at. So this one is actually pretty good, you know. Uh, gonna raise your shot attack of your squad by 39% and then also raise up 19% uh, shot defense as well. So this one is actually powerful. So this one is actually that final, uh, that final cinematic scene where um, I think I think Zian was in autopilot mode shooting down the RA-72. So that was an extremely iconic moment right there. So uh, not bad overall what this one is building. Uh, a plus pierce and A plus power, definitely powerful. First time you use this for having a four second is completely mind blowing to me. So this one is good. I'll definitely give that one probably a a good to go. You know, just because of the EX skill, uh, probably probably a four second first time usage. Uh, but the chest is also definitely a must altery. Uh, let me see over here. Uh, the stat on this one is actually pretty good as well, right? Uh, in terms of the shot department, obviously. Uh, so we have another one of these over here for your um, S attribute folks over here. So this one is going to be exactly the same as the beginning to get them chest over here. So there's not really much to talk about. Um, this one is specifically for a S attribute. So I think S attribute does have a lot of these uh, EX skill CD reduced by um, let's say 20%. So this one is definitely going to be good if anyone is bidding out for that, you know, um, CD, CD reduction build for your S uh, speed type over here. So there's not going to be too much to talk about over here. Besides the fact this one is an excellent portrait. Uh, stat wise, it's gonna be decently well for a standard part over here. So, but I would say this one's mainly gonna be a sub slot option, uh, purely trying to use this part tray over here. War tag is not gonna be the best case scenario against the end and then for space. So, there's gonna be definitely a, a lot of like uh, war tag fixing. Let's say, for, let's say, hopefully, your main build, your main part has some better, better tags already, so you don't have to dive into. Um, having to uh, having to work around your vortex and all that so definitely this one is a must ultra just because of the portrait right there uh moving on to this this over here the arm ex skill over here. so in terms of the status actually pretty high uh for that shot defense over here or the other shot attack all in all a uh, war tag is going to be zia and then for space again so not your ideal uh, war tag for you know let's say a shooter build so hopefully when you guys are you know using this arm let's say I will say just because of the tag, even if you do sub slot into a shooter build, uh, specifically, I feel like you know you, uh, this part over here is is just going to, uh, be a burden instead because you're not going to be sharing any of those uh, common links right or common tags, so you're not really going to be offering too many of those preventive sub slot boosting. So I will say it's not going to be good, right? So what this one ideally is good for is this one being a main part, and then having a sub slot of. Uh, let's say big scale. I think they will definitely fix the problem uh, because big scale has a non-conditional 20% uh, parameter boosting already. So they'll definitely benefit this one just a little bit better. But make sure your uh, your sub slot has some portrait right. That is that is one thing I want to mention because if you double sub slot a EX skill base, uh, that you know your portrait slot is just <laughs> going to be completely. Um, getting wasted and then you know so that's why make sure you do have some portrait when you're you, when you want to sub slot this one right uh, overall you know that's uh, that shot attack is definitely good I, I don't think I've ever seen a standard part breaking at 5k in uh, in terms of different part of the body right or uh, different parts right this one is going to be good definitely gonna be good uh, let's actually take a look at the EXC which I have not done uh, it's actually decently well so a plus pierce and the a uh, b plus power definitely good oh and then the first time usage is, is only going to be three seconds so uh you won't be e needing any any of those um initial ex skill uh charge boost and all that so that this one is good another excellent ex skill right here as well all right the last part we need to go over is actually just going to be the leg uh in terms of the leg i feel like it's just a little bit below average i, I want to say is there even below average in in terms of standards i feel like people will still use this one over here um just because this one has a better uh tax over here uh heavy long range is definitely going to be able to subside a little bit better so not bad right there uh in terms of the ex skill this one is offering a b plus b plus 15 second usage over here 
I believe these usually in terms of the piercing does go up to an A plus maybe. So this one may not gonna be not gonna be able to penetrate through your um, enemy armor as much, but I'm pretty sure the staggering effects over there should be still pretty prominent if your opponent is gonna get hit by that B uh, B plus pierce over here. So uh, overall, I think this one is still pretty good. I think this one is gonna be a lot more better, right? Uh, just because this one does have long range as a word tech right there. So that is that, right? Um, overall for the Xeon over here, I think the stat line for this one is definitely up there. I think it's just the word tag is completely ruining ruining it. Uh, just because if you are going to be putting this one as a shooter sub slot, uh, tag wise you're not really sharing anything. So you are really hurting uh, whatever the parameter boosting side is. So that is bad, right? Uh, but only the only MPP from this, uh, the, from this setup here is only going to be the chest. Uh, because of that uh, CD reduction is definitely going to be powerful in terms of like what you guys need to be building. So I think that should be pretty much it. I feel like this uh, this week's um, standard or yeah standard alteration is pretty good. Um, this that is definitely good, but I think just some of the uh, war tags can like they definitely they cannot really fix it, but uh, at least they try it I guess uh, in terms of what the status bringing along. Uh, I just really wish they could have boost uh, melee a little bit better, but uh, then again, the Xeon uh, is not really like a mo uh, like a melee mobile suit, so that should be pretty much it. I think um, the be be the beginning third again does did a pretty good job in terms of the chest. As with the other part, it's just more of like uh, whatever for now. For example, just me personally, I don't really see myself alternating them at the moment uh, because uh, upgrading to that alternating these parts does require to have them to six stars, so. That can be a little bit of a costly project right there as well. So uh, with that being said, this is going to be a quick alteration review for these two units over here. Beginning Dirty Gundam and then Xeon over here as well. So I will be catching you guys all on the next one.